for the serious gamer. What is up, Next Gen Tactics? This is Gary Scon, and I've got a Halo Reach video for you all. Playing some Slayer on what is this Powerhouse? I believe it's Powerhouse. And uh, I wanted to I want to uh, uh, clear up a couple things and address a couple things with this video. Uh, a lot of you guys took my first Halo video that I that I posted here on Next Gen Tactics. You guys took that as me complaining about the game uh, and pretty much hating on the game and trashing the game and some and apparently hating on Bungie as well. And I just want to I just want to let you guys know that I'm actually really enjoying the game. Um, I, my intent for that video was not to be complaining about it. If I came off that way, I apologize. But uh, I was really basically the point of that video was just me letting you guys know that I'm a Halo noob. I mean, I'm new to Halo. I didn't like Halo Three. I mean, I don't think. You know, I don't think uh, all you Halo fanboys out there, um, there's no no need to uh, you know freak out or anything. I uh, <laughs> just because I didn't like Halo Three doesn't mean you need to you know you need to you know run to the defense of your beloved Halo series. You know, uh, um, I mean, and and, I, and if you are a Halo fanboy, you know it's there's it's okay. I understand I understand what it's like to have a game you really enjoy and that you uh you know you don't want that you want everyone to enjoy and that you want you don't want people to hate on. And but regardless of all that. Um, uh, I never me don't mean to be hating on the game. If if there is anything I point out that I don't like about the game, it's simply that you know uh, a human being, the human brain, is perfectly capable of enjoying something, but also disliking certain elements of that, finding good and bad when it comes to certain things. Uh, in this in this case, a video game, it's it's extremely possible to enjoy a video game but to not like certain things about it. So you know, just throwing all that out there. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm really enjoying Halo Reach. Um, and I'm new at Halo. I have no problem being new at Halo. Um, learning, it's just learning to adapt and learning to play a game, you know, a certain way. Uh, actually, one of the comments in my last video pointed out how the way Halo is played is indeed a flawed way of playing a game. But it's just the way the game is designed. Whether or not um, you guys agree or whether or not that's indeed true, that's just a comment that I'm responding to. No big deal. Um... And so, basically, another thing I wanted to talk about is the uh, the sprint ability that comes with, uh, basically, is generally the default setup, default uh, ability or class, I suppose, whatever, um, in most most game modes in Halo. Um, and me saying, you know, if you're a Halo fanboy out there, me saying that one of the only reasons I was able to actually get Halo Reach and enjoy it is because of the sprint ability... Uh, you guys, you guys should actually, I mean, you should be happy, I suppose. I don't know if that's exactly the right way to put it, but, you know, I mean, if you think about it, if the, if the biggest gripe I have with Halo 3 is that there's no, it's too slow paced for, for my personal tastes, and I actually really like Halo Reach because I'm able to move a little bit faster, uh, I think that's a, I mean, that's a good thing, you know? If there's a game, like, personally, like, I'm a huge fan of Mag, right? So if, if the, z the developers, if Zipper and which is a de developer of mag if they do something that i may not agree with but will open the game up to a much broader audience to get more people playing it you know i'd be thrilled um but anyway enough about all of that and uh i, wanna, I just want to kind of want to talk about the gameplay here <clears throat> as i said i am new to halo um i'm, I'm adapting p fairly quickly i guess to the, the style of play one thing that i still have to get used to as you can tell from this um me using the pistol here is the reticle the reticle bloom and just how uh, it's really important to time your shots, especially when you're using a semi-automatic weapon like the DMR or the pistol. Uh, it's critical to time your shots and wait for that reticle to, to, to close back in to make your shots as, as accurate as possible. And I actually really like that about the game. It's, it's a lot less conducive to just spraying and uh, spraying and praying, as they say. Although here, that's what I do, and I guess it works out for me, but... One of my one of my biggest annoyances with the game is the uh, kind of like in so like in Mag I guess less so than and then in Call of Duty Call of Duty for sure your reflex when you're about to die is just hit that knife button and you might get the kill and uh, in this game it's throw a grenade and maybe you'll get the kill after you're dead <laughs> which you know what can you do <clears throat> so so yeah I'm I'm actually like I said I'm really liking Halo uh, it's tough to adapt to and uh, I, one more thing I want. All you guys out there who are watching this video, who don't mind watching it a second time, I'm already fairly far into the video, and I, I should have pointed this out earlier, because it was something that I wanted to point out um, in the beginning, but I forgot to. Uh, this dude, Sawed Off Bully, I think is his name. This player on the enemy team. 
Uh, I, I remember seeing his name come up an awful lot uh, in my crosshairs, at least. So if any of you out there want to play a little game and go through the video again and count how many times I actually kill Sawed Off Bully, uh, that'd be interesting to know because I saw his name come up a lot. And that kind of speaks to this team we were playing. I I am by no means uh, the best Halo player in the universe. I'm actually far from it. Um, but this team we were playing really makes me look a lot better than I am. Which, I mean, hey, that's what it takes to get a good video, right? Um, these guys weren't all that good. But, you know, what, what can you do? <coughs> so, Halo, man. Uh, it's, it's, and a lot of you guys out there just take, like, when I say that there's something that I need to get, I need to adjust to to the game or something that I'm not used to, it's not necessarily a criticism or a bad thing with the game. It's just something that's different and that me, myself being primarily a player of other types of games, other types of shooters more specifically, it just has to get used to. It's not a bad thing. So, like, in Halo, I mean, Halo shooting is just another thing that you do while you're meleeing and while you're throwing grenades. And that's fine. That's the style of the game. If I didn't want, you know, if I if I was that bothered by it, I would just not play the game. You know what I mean? So, I don't mean to be coming off as a hater. Or, or a ga I mean, I, I like the game. So, I just, I just really want you guys to understand that. Because I do enjoy the game, and it's not, I mean... If you think, put yourself into my position here. Not that I care. If you're a troll, you know, then you're a troll, and there's no, there's no hope for you. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm coming into this game as a noob. Uh, I'm learning it. It's gonna be a rough, a rough journey. And uh, I welcome, I welcome criticism. I welcome tips from all you guys who are probably better at Halo than I am. Um, I feel like I'm getting a pretty good grasp on the game. Um, Especially, one thing I don't like at all about the game, though, and this is definitely, um, I don't, you know, this is just kind of the nature of the, of, the, of, the, of the way it is. I really don't like the matchmaking system and the way things are set up to be voting on the games. Like, I really don't like it. Cause, and by the, by, ha by the time I realized that I wanted to quit, or before I, like, you can't rage quit because you get penalized for it. You get, you get banned or suspended if you do too much, which is fine. I'm okay with that. But at least give me the option to quit before the game starts if it's a mode I don't want to play. You know how, like, you have to vote on which game mode you want to play? And half the time, like, Team Snipers gets picked every time it comes up. And while I don't have a, a problem with Team Snipers, I don't want to be forced to play it. You know what I mean? If I want to play Team Snipers, then I'll play it. I don't want to be forced to play it. So that's kind of my biggest problem with the whole the whole system. Uh... But as you can see, I'm taking this game in theater mode, recording it in theater mode for you guys uh, through my PVR, of course. Um, but one thing I want also want to tell you guys is if you head over to my own, my my YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Um I'm planning on since since good games are few and far between for me. Uh, I don't get really a game where I do all that well very often. I mean, it happens. Trust me, it happens. But not as often as I would like, or as I can you know with other games. So I'm probably going to be uploading these videos all to my channel, my own channel as well, um, with fresh commentary for you, and also with a little treat, um, with uh, th with some cool different angles from theater mode, some slow motions, some sped up parts, uh, some kind of high, like going back and rewatching certain kills over and over again from different angles and stuff like that. Just fun stuff that I really, really, really like about theater mode, and that's probably one of Halo's strongest points in my opinion is that theater mode and what you can do with it so uh, if you want to head over to my channel and subscribe to me you will definitely see some of the cool things you can do with theater mode and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed my halo reach gameplay here and my commentary and all that and uh, if you're a hater then just go away because nobody cares <laughs> uh you know everyone's got their own opinions about games and uh you know not you're not a, you're not going to agree with everyone and, and you got to learn that that is okay it's okay to disagree it's okay if somebody doesn't isn't just as in love with the game that you are, you, you happen to be just as in love with. So I'll leave you with that, and uh, thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you all later.